Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Kit Kitatani. I'm a Japanese. I'm uh, retired now, and uh, but I head a uh, non-governmental organization, and uh, I'm going around the world uh, trying to create and promote awareness among the people in the world uh, with regard to so-called global issues. Now, uh, it was in 1983, or rather 82, I was with the United Nations, and I was hopping around the world. And in December, I was on a month-long mission in Thailand and Laos. And I was uh, enjoying my work, my eating and drinking. And I weighed about uh, 85 kilos those days. But while in uh, Thailand and enjoying a great meal there, I started developing a kind of ulcer on my tongue, which I had never experienced. So I uh, worried a little bit. But uh, I took my pills, and nothing happened. So I asked my friends to give me some pills for my stomach, and nothing happened. So I rang my wife in New York, because I lived in New York those days. I said, I'm coming home in a few days' time. Please make an appointment with my doctor. So upon my return at the end of December, I went straight to the doctor from the airport, virtually. Then he diagnosed that I had stomach ulcer. And he uh, prescribed some pills, which I took but nothing happened. So uh, in January, I said, my God, now maybe I'm suffering from uh, in January 83. I'm suffering from uh, tropical disease. You know, maybe I picked up uh, a worm or something, you see. So I wanted to uh, go to a tropical disease institute. But my wife said, well, before you do that, why don't you go and have uh, endoscopy, you see? So she made an appointment with a very famous uh, Japanese doctor called Dr. Shinya. Uh, he, he was famous for endoscopy. So I went to him and had my uh, stomach examined. Well, what he discovered was a huge ulcer in the stomach. And in the middle of it, there was a tumor. And of course, he uh, took off some um, cells for uh, examination. But he told me, you know, we don't have to wait for the result. I know it's cancer, and you need immediate operation, you see. And of course, I didn't know anything about macrobiotics those days. I just believed in modern medicine, you see, and modern science. So I said to the doctor, OK, I'm your patient. You do whatever necessary for me. And that's a deal, you know, kind of thing. So uh, uh, on the... Uh, the 15th of February, I had an operation. And I had three-fourths of my stomach removed. Then I was in, uh, in the hospital for two weeks. In the meantime, I lost about 20 kilos just in the hospital because I couldn't eat or drink or whatsoever. Then I got discharged. But a few days before the uh, uh, discharge from the hospital, a couple of days, a few doctors walk into my office and said, Mr. Kitatani, we have good news and bad news. So I said, give me good news. And he said, well, you know, your tumor hadn't penetrated the stomach wall as yet. So maybe we have uh, caught your cancer fairly early in the stage. However, your uh, cancer cells had spread through, uh, throughout your body through the uh, lymph nodes, lymph system. What you need is uh, uh, chemotherapy. So I said, all right, I'm at your disposal. You see. And uh, I didn't know this, but at that point, uh, the doctors found out that uh, the cancer, the type of cancer I had, was called um, uh, signet ring carcinoma, which was a very, very 
a violent one. And my prognosis was that I would live for about three to six months. My wife knew that, but I didn't know that at that point. But I uh, started my chemotherapy soon after that. But in the meantime, a friend of mine uh, from the UN came over and told me about a doctor who had recovered from cancer through diet. See? But she couldn't recall who the doctor was and what the channel was, so I couldn't have uh, I didn't have any recourse to, to uh, sort of examine the possibility, see, but so I just forgot about it. Then uh, soon after I started my chemotherapy, a friend of mine got married, and he invited me to his reception, which I didn't want because I, still, I was still uh, walking around with my aches and pains in the stomach, you see. But I said, okay, Let's go out for five minutes. And that was lucky for me, because at uh, the reception, the first person I met was an uh, ex-staff member of the United Nations who had just recovered from chemotherapy, uh, uh, cancer, sorry. Uh, and she told me that uh, she was uh, eating uh, brown rice, and she got well. So I was very much surprised, you see. Well, can you do that kind of thing? <laughs> I had never heard of it. Uh, so, but I was uh, instantly curious and interested in it. So I asked for the information. She said, no, don't ask me too many questions, but just go and uh, buy a book called Recall by Life. So I noted it down and went to uh, several bookstore the following day and bought it. Finally, I, I could find it and bought it. I, I took it home. I read it. I liked it because it was written by a doctor, very logical and very candid. And moreover, what he described was a sort of Japanese food. So it was very easy for me, see, to take. So I said, well, Let's find out more about this, uh, what they call macrobiotics. So I rang my office and asked the office staff to get the necessary information. There must be some macrobiotic society in New York, that kind of thing, you see. But a few days afterwards, I got a call saying that there's no such thing in New York. But there was a macrobiotic restaurant. So I got the number, and I called the restaurant. And I shot many, many questions, you see. And I found out there were bookstores, and I could get macrobiotics information readily. So I went to one of them and got two books on macrobiotics and two books on macrobiotic cooking. So I gave my uh, 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 cooking books to my wife and, and said, Hey, let's start this as of tomorrow. <laughs> that was uh, the first of um, uh, 1983, first of April. And in the meantime, uh, my oncologist said, look, uh, we administered uh, chemotherapy, but it's not working. On the contrary, it, is, it, it, it may be destroying your body because your uh, white blood cell uh, count uh, has come down, and it's not going up. So uh, if we continue this, you'll be dying of uh, various infections, particularly by pneumonia. So we have to discontinue this. So I said, hey, what's happening to me? No therapy? And uh, if I don't die of... Uh, pneumonia, I'll die of cancer. Which comes first? He says, <laughs> pneumonia. <laughs> so he had to discontinue and see what will happen. So I said, okay, doctor, here I have new information called macrobiotics. I'll bet my life on that. So what you do is just continue uh, examinations of my blood, 
and, and uh, endoscopy every three months. So we shook hands and said, that's a deal. So I embarked on this um, uh, macrobiotics, according to the books. 